Uh, hey YouTube. Today I am going to try to uh, adjust the bearings in my front wheel. If you take your wheel off and spin it and it feels rough, then the chances are that uh, it uh, needs to be serviced. It's not as bad as it was yes the last time uh, you don't want any play or anything like that so I'm gonna try to get this apart I've never seen one where oh well, it's I guess it comes off there so let me see what I need for tools here uh, I know I'm going to need a screwdriver to get that rubber cap off here. So, we'll grab this multi-purpose one. And, uh, put a regular bit on it. should come off fairly easy. But it looks like it's gonna be stubborn. I'll try not to get too greasy here, but I may not have no choice in the matter. Um, I'm trying to do this without taking uh, both sides loose. Uh, because uh, I don't really, you don't really need to. And you're just going to have to pry on this rubber cap until you get it off and then you'll see that there's a flat here and this outside bolt oh, let's see what size that is it's going to be bigger than 15 millimeter yeah it's a it's probably a standard size, although I wouldn't think so. So, let me gather up some tools. Uh, the bearings, I've got uh, this retainer here that uh, keep them in place. But this, it's got a rough spot in it. And it's, I'm assuming that one... There isn't enough grease in there, and I'm not going to do a full repack. I'm not going to tear the wheel completely apart. All I'm going to do is uh, uh, loosen it up, put some grease, more grease in each side, because it's it's literally shouldn't need a repack. I mean, the few times I've ridden this in the uh, in the uh, winter time, it shouldn't need it. So, let me grab, see if I can find a flat wrench. And see if we can figure out what size the wrench is on it. I'm grabbing the standards first because it's just slightly bigger than a 15 millimeter. So I'm gonna think that it might be a 5.8 or 9 sixteenths and wouldn't that be strange and that's not 5 eighths 9 sixteenths yeah. this is a uh, I believe it's a part tool No, this is bicycle research. I've had it for so long I couldn't begin to tell you 
where I got it. So you're going to loosen this one up and you may not need to take it up. So that is a 16. So now you're going to reach around and grab this other side and uh, got that side so tight <sighs> that is out there it should never be so tight that you need a wrench to loosen up the cone So we're gonna, oh, that very repairing retainer cap. So we're gonna hold the other side and loosen this side. And until you get enough room, there is some grease in there. So. We're going to set it down against something so the bearings don't fall out. And grab a rag and some grease. So, I'm just using a multi purpose grease. It shouldn't get so hot that uh, you're melting the grease, but who knows? Well, just lost some bearings out the other side. Oh. Now, I'm probably going to have to clean those bearings fairly well, but if I get enough grease in here packed in here, that this axle will stay put. Okay. So, we're gonna end up screwing this one out some more so we can get the bearings back in there. And the reason you don't wanna loosen up both sides is uh, you don't wanna have to readjust where the axle sits in it. So as long as you leave one side completely So there's still two bearings in there and there's six on the ground. Are you done already? sitting on the ground. So we're going to clean the bearings back off. Oh, let me turn here a little bit. Maybe you can see what I'm doing. So, make sure there's no dirt on them. If this had water contamination, 
or some, something like that, then I probably would tear it completely apart. But I'm just trying to keep it as easy as possible. So, they're all back in place. And we'll grab it by like that. Get the grease out again. Put a little bit in there. Put these back in there now. Since this is the side that we loosened up, we have to screw this back in. Oh man, this is going to take a while with my greasy fingers. The bearings will pretty much go back where they're supposed to. Uh, with them tight, so tight that they're probably cutting, gonna end up being in a different spot and have to cut a new race. Uh, usually, if you rebuild a hub, you replace the bearings uh, So, we'll wipe this all off. If you leave too much grease on there, you, the grease can uh, let the dirt migrate into the hub. And, uh, my space you guys probably seen where it fell but I don't see it so far that that you're going to put the uh, cut slotted side out so right now the bearings are gonna, a little you're going to want them a little over tight right at this point and you'll see why here in a second So, run that up until it's finger tight. Grab your slot, your uh, wrench. I believe this is going to be a 16 here on the outside, but I'm using it. Um, I grabbed the right one. I'm using a 9 16. So, now it's, you got to make sure. It's a little too tight right now and that your outside nut is up and snug against the other one so what we're gonna do is make sure we have the right side put it on put this on and now we're gonna twist this the inside uh, flat till it's tight it's a little tight still. So, 
So we loosened up the outside a little bit. Tell them they got crap. There's still a, a tight spot in it. I'm beginning to wonder if the axle's a little. And this sounds terrible. And it's going to take you a couple of times of making sure you have it right where you need it. I'm beginning to think that I may have a, uh, a bent axle. not bad enough that I'm going to replace it at this point but I certainly am going to let the electric know that it has a rust spot in it I still don't like that I'm wondering if it's if I'm
was not right. Well, I got it tight now, that's for sure. Tighten her up a little bit more. I'm not quite happy with, there's a little bit of axle play still. I think in my case the bearing was uh, just one of the bearings was not quite where it needed to be and uh, it seems to be good now it's a little noisy but if you get any grease on here you might want to spray it down with a brake cleaner or a solvent on uh, you might have to find it doesn't want to stop right so make sure you put it back on the right way because you'll know it if you don't wipe off any grease uh, put this back out so we can get it back on make sure you leave the axle retainers on uh, your axles because the last thing you want to do is lose a wheel then you can put your cap back on um, it lines up with the nut so it might take you a second um, but it shouldn't be too bad oh, there you go And it goes in a little slot there but it's in that slot so put my axle retainer back on and the the 14 millimeter axle nut make sure you leave a little room for you to get it back on there right I get grease everywhere somehow. 
must have had it on my hand. Um, you can take some time if you want to and clean, clean everything up. Uh, there was, how I knew that I had uh, a problem was when I changed the tire, I noticed that the, the wheel was a little rough. Now, um, but it seems to be good now. At this point, I could turn the tire around, but we're going to give the tire a fair chance. We have, uh, let me tip you up a little bit so, so I'm kind of in the frame. We have about 65 miles on the tire. It shows little wear. That's the center of the tire is where it's most of where it's going to be anyway, but it's not showing very much wear at all for 65 miles. The other, by the time I had 65 miles on the uh, Chow Yang's, it looked like it, it had 200 miles on it. So we're ready to put the wheel back on the bike. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. It's just a 14 millimeter wrench to take it off. So, the recap, what you need to do this job is grease, because you're going to want to put some grease back in it if you need to. A 16 millimeter and a, actually a 16 millimeter flat wrench, which you should be able to buy at a local bike shop or on Amazon. Uh, I wouldn't spend a lot of money unless you plan on doing this often. Uh, and that's about it uh, you can check your brakes on your uh, deal on your uh, caliper at this point but uh, I don't think they not 1200 miles they last a long time a lot longer than most people would think um, so uh, The, the two 16 millimeter wrenches and a 14 to do this in some grease, uh, a rag to clean the bearings off if they fall out. Uh, remember, don't take both cones loose. Just take one side off so that you don't have to worry about whether you've got the axle back in centered in the hub again. Uh, you'll have room you don't even need to take the axle out all the way. You have room to get the grease in there. Um, so it seems to be spinning a lot better. Not hearing. Uh, I still can feel the bearings in there, but it's going to be a lot better than it was. And that's all I'm going to do for today on this. Wow. <laughs> There's a squirrel fight going on up in the tree above me. Uh, um, we're going to go for a bike ride today, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the, in the uh, video and I'll get back to you with them. This is a simple job. This is a 20-minute job at the most. There's only really two serviceable bearings in the bike, uh, the headset and this one. The other ones are just cartridge bearings that you would just buy a whole new bearing to replace. Yes, you could go through the trouble of re-lubricating them, but it's, if you got to go do that, uh, then you probably should just replace them. Uh, they're going to go that far. Um, sometime this summer, late summer, early fall, you will see me do the, the rear wheel. The planetary gears in there, I will be re-greasing those. Um, but that's uh, an upcoming video. I'm not going to promise a date or anything, but I will be doing those. It's a lot easier than what you think. It's a pain in the butt taking the wheel off, but it's a lot easier. It's not. It's probably a total of, assuming that you can get the screws that hold the plate that covers uh, on the freewheel side loose it shouldn't take you more than half an hour to do the whole job so I'm going to call it a video 
And you guys have a great day. Please subscribe, like the video.